Hey guys, it's me, Ben, here. It, we're, it's time for part two of the Three Stage Saga, which is what I decided to call this series. A long time ago, oh, about a year ago, I made three starters, a water starter, a grass starter, and a fire starter. Then I completely forgot about them and made them a Holly Region series. Um, uh, and I decided the this region is lacking in three stage evolutions, so I'll make all three and give them all three e, full, e, three stage evolutions. So here is the grass starter. Hedgerol, the fake rodent Pokemon. Hedgerol were originally thought to be a rodent Pokemon, but further research suggests they are more like Deerling and Skidoo. And when threatened, they will dig into the ground and roll into a ball to pretend to be a bush. After this, it seems obvious that the that the the design took inspiration from Shaman. It's supposed to be a deer, but it's also a hedgehog. Hey, there was another name for this Pokemon, but I forgot it. But so I just renamed it Hedgerol. I couldn't get the idea to make it a Pokemon like Shaman out of my head, so that's what I ended up doing. I mean, it looks like a hedgehog, but it's a deer. But, 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 but it's a goat. It's a goat. I didn't know where I was going with this design at first, but I really like how it turned out. So I, I, the only problem I had was what I did with the horns. I wish it did a better job. But I don't hate it as much as what I did with the next Pokemon. It, Oh, you'll see in a minute. into bush ants, the change in physiology increases it so much that they have incredible, an incredibly tedious time walking. They have to realize that their legs aren't built for walking, they're built for bouncing. So, so bush ants were often seen skipping across, across the, the grasslands of the Mahali region. When attacked, Bushants will bounce off of their surroundings until they have enough force to ram into the enemy. I feel like that could be a signature move for this Pokemon. Like they bounce off of everything and then they just headbutt the, the opponent. But like that that could be like I could call it like thundering headbutt. Or lightning headbutt. What or whatever. My only right with this design is that is that the, the the design is fine the quality looks awful like i could imagine i made i could have made something like this a year ago but with the art style i have now i should have been doing a lot better and as you can see i made the final evolution is there you can have a little sneak peek of it you'll have a better look at it in a moment and I made the final design before the before everything else, and then I made the the first design, design and then I made this design, so I could just make this a, a fusion of the two. Uh, I feel like I could have made the legs more squiggly to sell that the legs need to be more. The legs are very unstable, so instead of instead of walking, they bounce. Like you like you saw, I was experimenting with that idea. It didn't work, so I just changed it. And yeah, the horns on these, the the detail I did on the horns was pretty bad too, but it's yeah, it's kind of sucks. And I made some, I finally made enough Pokemon so I can use them as references. You can actually Google some of my Pokemon now. If you Google Mahali and Deerling, and do Mahali and Deerling will pop up. So I'm so I'm Google famous now. Well, that's cringy. So I'll see. So, this is Bushons.
Legend Pokemon. Gazap and Bladuma are two of the fastest Pokemon in the entire world. Gazap have to, has to eat four times its weight daily to compensate for the energy it burns when it runs. This is why it's rare to see a Gazap running unless it's away from a predator. Its fastest speed is recorded at Mach 4. Before somebody goes in the comments and says, you're stupid, gazelles can't move that fast. This is Pokemon, not the not, not real life. A, a goat a goat evolves into a, a gazelle this video, so it doesn't really matter. matter. The colors on, on this were iffy, so I decided to just desaturate it a little bit, and that fixed it right up. Well, I, can't, I kept messing up the leg proportions with this design, and then I kept fixing it and then bringing it back. It was a mess, but I eventually got it. If you look at the legs, you'll see what I mean, but yeah. I went for the final evolution first because if you go just start with the, the first evolution, it kind of limits your options of what the what you can turn the thing into. Like you can't make it too much diff, too, too different from its original design because that mess the whole thing up. Uh, so I, this is Gazap. I don't know if anybody knows the pattern, but the, the pattern was the first set, the, the, the stage, the name was Hedge, was Hedge and Roll, and then the other one was Bush and Bounce, and the other one was Gallop and Zap. Not a big deal if you didn't, I just wanted to point that out if, unless you already got it. I am kind of happy with the final design and the game design. The middle design, I will rework that as soon as I have an opportunity. Okay. Well, that's all I have to say for the outro. You are the shinies.